Gramagot Leskion Corlog is begging me a grind to milk with all my le chocolate burk freshen. Um, Minister, I suppose, listening to the previous speaker, you're, you're probably going to become an expert in, in water uh, and water quality um, across the country, but I suppose myself and Deputy Burke want to speak today about the, the issues involving Carrigan Wastewater Treatment Plant just 10 kilometres north of Cork City. Um, I suppose the difficulty we have is that we could name probably a dozen villages you know, in the greater Cork area, um, but specifically Carrigan I think, is an issue that deserves some scrutiny, uh, given that there's you know, limited potential for development over the next few years because of the difficulties with its wastewater treatment plant. So as I said, we could name Nokraha, Clahine, Kerry Pike, you know, to name, to name a small few villages which are experiencing uh, wastewater treatment issues, um, and not to mention bigger towns like Middleton and, and Bellevillain on the north side of Cork City, which has been resolved uh, most recently. Um, the difficulty with Carrigan is, as I said, it's 10 kilometres from Cork City centre. Um, it's a village of about six, 700 people, and probably another thousand in the wider hinterland. Um, but it has unbelievable potential for growth in, in the coming years. Um, being so close to the city, being on the new bus connects route, you know, it, it is well set up to, to develop into the future. The difficulty in Carrig Navarre, as Deputy Burke will, 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 will also summarise, is that the wastewater treatment plant since I became a councillor in 2014 has been at capacity and overloaded. Um, indeed, if I read you know, some of the extracts from Irish Water's various reports over the years, um, there's a 2019 environmental report which says that it's non-compliant, which isn't a surprise to us. Um, it has failed every aspect of its effluent monitoring report um, in any given year. Um, and the cause of this is because it's, it's overloaded and the current organ organic loading is more than double the organic capacity uh, of the plant. Um, most recently, on board Planala would have decided on the application for a school, um, a new replacement school for, for a skull on Ahar Taig. And unfortunately, one of the conditions put on this, the, the, the planning permission for that school was that they could not increase their, 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 their student population. So they're restricted to a student population of 338 pupils and 62 staff indefinitely. And the reason I say... Are you sharing your time equally? Yeah, Torigme no maid, no maid, Ellis of Resh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, they're restricted to their student intake. And not, not only that, um, the difficulty is for Skull and Tahir Taig is, you know, they would have a significant uh, student population with special needs. You know, so there's difficulties there that that school is, you know, we're trying to encourage this school to grow, take on more students with, with special educational needs, but they're restricted because of, as I said, um, the indefinite, you know, plans uh, of the wastewater treatment plant. So, Minister, the question I have for you is, do Irish Water have any plans to upgrade this plant in the, in the short term? Gorf Mahagut, Laskian Corl, and I want to thank both deputies, um, Deputy O'Sullivan and Deputy Burke, for raising um, this really important issue today um, in relation to plans to upgrade the Carrick Navarre Wastewater Treatment Facility. Since the 1st of January 2014, Irish Water have statutory responsibility for all aspects of water services, planning, delivery and operation at national, regional and local levels. Irish Water takes a strategic nationwide approach to asset planning and investment and meet customer requirements. The prioritisation and progression of individual projects and programmes is a matter for determination by Irish Water. Irish Water delivers its services in accordance with a statutory water services strategic plan 2015 to 2040, which sets out a high-level strategy over 25 years to ensure the provision of clean, safe drinking water, effective management of wastewater, environmental protection and support for economic and social development. The Minister's primary responsibility and focus is to ensure Irish Water has the policy direction through the Water Services Policy Statement that is properly structured to deliver an effective and efficient public water service and that Irish Water is funded sufficiently in respect of domestic water services. The programme for government commits to funding Irish Water's capital investment plan for water infrastructure on a multi-annual basis. The National Development Plan for 2021 to 2030 commits to almost six billion capital investment in Irish water, which I know everyone welcomes, of which over 4.5 billion will be voted exchequer funding in respect of domestic water services. As part of Budget 22, the Minister secured over 1.57 billion to support water services. This includes 1.459 billion for domestic water services provisioned by Irish Water. This investment will deliver significant improvements in our public water and wastewater services, support improved water supplies right across urban and rural Ireland, and support a range of programmes delivering 
improved water quality in our rivers, lakes and marine areas. But to, to get to the nub of the question that both of you have answered, um, that both of you have asked in relation to the particular facility at Carrick Navarre, Minister O'Brien understands from Irish Water that the Carrick Navarre Waste Water Treatment Facility has not been listed as a high priority by Cork County Council in the Small Towns and Villages Growth Programme. Irish Water will consider the position in the context of further investment planning, having regard in turn to Cork County Council priorities in terms of its land use planning responsibilities. But if I could just comment myself in relation to the, both, both deputies speaking about you know, how important it is for the school, the fact that 70% of it is prefabricated, and that um, I think you stated that it was, there was an objection to by um, the Fisheries Board. I think after what both deputies have said, I think this has to be revisited by Cork County Council, the fact that it has not been listed as a high priority. Thanks, Minister. I suppose I should have initially acknowledged that you know, there is great investment going into water right across the country um, in the last budget. But at the same time, you're saying that um, Cork County Council and Irish Water haven't prioritised it or given it a high priority. Um, and I've seen Cork County Council's um, wastewater treatment plant you know, list and the way that they've designated it. I think Carrig Navarre comes somewhere in the middle in terms of priority for them. Um, but ultimately it is Irish Water's call and they're saying that the funding isn't, isn't there for it, which is unfortunate because um, you're, you're saying that they take a strategic nationwide approach to these things, but Carrig Navarre is symptomatic of a wider problem. It's one village, you know, we could name 20, 30 villages across Cork County. There's probably hundreds of villages, villages across the country which are on the permanent pause in terms of development. And, you know, it's unfair on people in the village. Um, it's unfair on the school going community. It's unfair on the principal of the school who will obviously try to get more staff, um, attract a larger population to, to the benefit of his own school. Um, and I, I do hope that, you know, on foot of this morning's question, that Irish Water will hopefully revisit the issue um, and do whatever assessment is appropriate to hopefully you know, improve the chances of Carrig Navarre getting that because, as we've both said this morning, you know, to be restricting a village you know, 10 minutes to the city centre um, to 10 units over the next six years is, is a bit incredulous. Thank you. Irish Water, as the public water utility, has developed a long-term investment perspective in order to strategically address the many deficiencies in the public wastewater system. Irish Water is optimising investment decisions to ensure that it utilises capital resources by making investments that deliver the best possible service improvements for communities. Irish Water will have to consider its investment plans in line with the significant funding being made available to it now and in the years ahead over multiple investment cycles. And maybe, deputies, it might be a good idea to raise it again with Irish Water, the fact that sufficient funding, ring fence funding, has been provided under the National Development Plan for the next five years. I know there was one area of consideration in my own constituency that I have since raised because of the extra funding that has been provided. The Minister is ensuring that Irish Water is on a sustainable funding path and has the significant and sustained investment required to ensure the continued operation, upgrade and repair of the county's water and wastewater infrastructure to support housing delivery and economic growth in the years to come, including areas such as Carrig Navarre. So I have no doubt, deputies, that this will come to the, on, to the floor of the House again um, and we'll hear more about um, Carrig Navarre and the fact of the expansion of the school. Gorv Mahagut. Thank you.